Guarda la luna, guarda le stelle, guarda tutte le cose belle. Um, yes, I have. This happened last year. Um, one of my really close friends fell in love with the boy I was dating. To be honest, I don't think I've ever experienced triangulation. At least mm -hmm. not that I was aware of. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, I was part of the triangle without knowing it, but looking back, I can't think of any that I'm, that I'm aware of. I think so. I guess like the first example that comes to mind was in my most recent relationship with my ex. Um, he was still getting over his previous relationship and so like that would resurface at some times. That was really difficult for me because like, I really liked him but at times I felt like he was using me as like a replacement. I think this happens to girls quite often. If your girl group finds someone attractive, you suddenly start to see that person attractive too. I don't think I've ever been attracted to someone because others were attracted to them. But I do know that someone has been attracted to me because they found out others were attracted to me. Which is an interesting situation to be in because it makes you wonder if they actually you know, liked you for you or just because you seem desirable. I think this happens in many cases in society. You actually take the values of others and think from their perspective. I think in a love triangle there is often going to be someone who um, has unrequited love and that will be the hardest position to be in. Maybe in some love triangles there could be one person that's desired by many people, which I feel like would feel good to be, to feel desirable or have people want to be in a relationship with you. I don't know, I feel like I've never been on the side of like the person who like both people are attached to, but like say like my ex who like I was attached to him and like he like had probably had some affection for me, still might have like had some effect for his ex, probably feels torn, mm -hmm. most likely, maybe feels guilt. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I mean, this this is like a complete nightmare. Oh, I know, this must be so hard. Oh no, two women love me. <laughs> They're both gorgeous and sexy. My wallet's too small for my 50s and my diamond shoes are too tight. <laughs> I think it affects everyone somehow. I don't see like, I can't pick uh, the person who's affected the most or the person who doesn't care about it at all. I think everyone feels pretty bad in the end. I think I think on all sides it feels like there's a lot of like love but also like hurt, jealousy, pain, but also happiness. I think we are much more open about these things nowadays. In the past, when this happened, people kept it to themselves and they wouldn't tell this to anyone. Today, we're just living really open and we're really open about our feelings. Like we're talking to a friend, a friend tells another person and the words just spread out suddenly. I got it, Ross. You had no right to tell me you ever had feelings for me. What? I was doing great with Julie before I found out about you. Hey, I was doing great before I found out about you. You think it's easy for me to see you with Julie? Well, then you should have said something before I met her. I didn't know then. And how come you never said anything to me? But there was never a good time. Right, because you only had a year and uh, we only hung out every night. Not, not, not every night. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I think triangulation hasn't changed very much. I don't think the way that people love each other has changed substantially um, over the last few hundred years. Um, maybe the only thing that's different about modern love triangles is that certain less traditional forms of love are more accepted now. I'll be fine, all right? Really, everyone, I hope she'll be very happy. No, you don't. No, I don't. To hell with her, she left me. <laughs> and you never knew she was a lesbian. <laughs> No! <laughs>
know, okay? Why does everyone keep fixating on that? She didn't know. How should I know? I think the difference is just like, today it's much more acceptable. In the past, people wouldn't admit this to themselves. And they wouldn't tell it to anyone because they would be just really ashamed of it. Today, it feels like it's okay to love someone who's in a relationship. Cheating is kind of okay nowadays. Try the bottom one. <laughs>